Attention Helldivers, and welcome back to another Pulse Pounding episode, where we keep you briefed on the latest happenings in our relentless battle against the alien menace. Today, we've got a transmission packed to the brim with excitement, drama, and maybe a few surprises along the way. So buckle up, strap in, and let's dive straight into the action. This is Weekly Helldivers Dispatch, signing on. In a daring operation, Helldivers have reclaimed control of planet Tianquan, restoring it to Super Earth's jurisdiction. The successful liberation of Tianquan marks a significant victory for Super Earth, bolstering a foothold in the ongoing conflict against hostile forces. With control restored, vital strategic resources and infrastructure on the planet can once again contribute to the war effort. Furthermore, the retrieval of the Morganson arsenal and its exosuit stockpile not only strengthens our military capabilities, but also provides Helldivers with access to advanced equipment essential for combating the enemy threats. This triumph underscores the resilience and determination of our forces in safeguarding Super Earth's interests across the galaxy. Helldivers, as a result of this victory, you now have access to the XO-45 Patriot Exosuit, which is available for requisition upon reaching level 25. Next, we're back with another segment on enemy threat analysis, where we dissect the devious strategies employed by our adversaries. Today, we've got a rather unconventional tactics to discuss. It seems our enemies have stooped to new lows in their quest to demoralize our brave Helldivers. Now, pay close attention to this footage. What you're witnessing here isn't just an awkward encounter, it's a calculated move by the bugs to exploit a psychological vulnerability. Imagine the horror, the shock, and the sheer disbelief our Helldiver must feel as he finds himself at the mercy of this uh, disgusting bug. But folks, Let's not underestimate the cunning of our adversaries. This isn't just about physical harm, no. It's about breaking our spirits, shattering our resolve. The bugs know that by subjecting us to such humiliating encounters, they can chip away at our morale, sow seeds of doubt and fear. But fear not, Helldivers, for knowledge is power. By shining a light on these despicable tactics, we arm ourselves with awareness. We refuse to be intimidated, to be cowed into submission. Instead, we stand tall, united in our defiance against these vile attempts to break our spirit. So let this serve as a reminder, not just of the dangers lurking in the shadows, but of our unwavering resilience in the face of adversity. Together, we'll face whatever challenges come our way and emerge stronger than ever. Helldivers, today we're diving into a rather sizable maintenance order that has stirred up quite the buzz among our ranks. Patch 01.000.100 brings a host of updates and adjustments to the battlefield, but not without causing some uproar and discomfort among our esteemed comrades. We'll explore the ramifications of this order in our next segment, Government Directives, but first, Let's delve into the nitty gritty of these maintenance updates and see what's in store for us on the front lines of Super Earth. First up, we have some major updates to planetary hazards. Brave yourselves, Helldivers, as many planets now present additional environmental challenges ranging from fiery tornadoes to meteor showers and more. It's a hazardous galaxy out there, so stay vigilant. In terms of balancing, eradicate missions are about to get a bit more intense. Enemies now spawn more frequently, and the mission duration has been extended to provide a greater challenge. Prepare for longer engagement and tougher fights on the front lines. And let's not forget about our trusty stratagems. Updates to the shield generator pack and orbital HE barrages aim to optimize their performance on the battlefield, offering increased durability and firepower when called upon. Of course, no maintenance update would be complete without a slew of bug fixes and optimizations from addressing armor rating inconsistencies to improving lighting across planets, our technicians have been hard at work ensuring a smoother experience for all Helldivers. 
As always, there are a few lingering issues that our teams are actively investigating. From minor inconveniences to more significant challenges, rest assured that every effort is being made to resolve these issues and deliver the best possible combat experience. But Helldivers, in this episode's Government Directive segment, we turn our attention to the unfolding drama surrounding the recent government maintenance orders, or should I say, the turmoil within the halls of power at Arrowhead Game Studios. First, let's set the scene. After the release of patch 01.000.100, discontent rippled through our ranks like seismic waves across a troubled planet. Players voiced their frustrations with various aspects of the update expecting constructive dialogue and receptive ears. However, the response from certain technicians was far from what the community had hoped for. Instead of empathy and understanding, their reaction resembled a storm of disdain and mockery akin to a tempest unleashed upon a fragile ecosystem. Indeed, their dismissive remarks, such as get good and send in a ticket and complain, struck a dissonant chord within our community, shattering the trust and camaraderie that once bound us together. But amidst the chaos and discord, a beacon of hope emerged. The creative director and CEO of the government intervened to address the situation. In a series of decisive tweets, he acknowledged the missteps of his subordinates, recognizing their behavior as a betrayal of the government's values. He vowed to rectify the situation and made it clear that the technician responsible for the inappropriate behavior had been sent to what can only be described as a re-education camp within the government. While this may sound like a humorous inside joke to some, it underscores the seriousness with which the government is addressing the matter. And lo and behold, the offending technician, acknowledging his transgressions, offered a heartfelt apology, signaling a willingness to mend the fractures he had caused within our community. So Helldivers, while the wounds of discord may still sting, let us not lose sight of the potential of healing and renewal. Let us move forward with cautious optimism, guided by the wisdom of our leaders and the resilience of our community. Now, transitioning from the unfolding drama with Arrowhead Game Studios, let's pivot to a brighter aspect of our community, the remarkable feats achieved by our fellow Helldivers. In this captivating display of ingenuity and teamwork, our comrade takes center stage atop the formidable Exo 45 Patriot Exosuit. With flames blazing from the recently upgraded flamethrower, they repel wave after wave of bugs with unmatched determination and tactical prowess. This remarkable feat exemplifies the versatility of our arsenal and the boundless potential for innovative strategies on the battlefield. It's moments like these that remind us of the camaraderie and resilience that define our community. So, let's give a round of applause to our Helldiver extraordinaire for their inspiring performance and for setting the bar high for all of us. Keep those creative strategies coming, Helldivers, for together we'll continue to stand strong against the forces of darkness. Continuing our journey through the trenches, it's time to set our sights on the horizon with our final segment, Future Teasers. So Helldivers, stay locked and loaded as we delve into the exciting developments waiting just over the horizon. Recently, a thrilling announcement has sent shockwaves through our community. The unveiling of the upcoming major update, Helldivers 2 Cutting Edge Warbond. This latest addition promises to inject fresh excitement into our ongoing battle against the alien menace. So, what can we expect from this Cutting Edge Warbond? Well, buckle up, because the arsenal is about to get a serious upgrade. Players will gain access to three sleek armor sets, complete with matching capes for that extra touch of flair. But that's not all. Four new guns are primed and ready to unleash devastation upon our foes, along with a battle-changing stun grenade to keep the enemy on their toes. Now, I know what you're thinking. How do we get our hands on these coveted treasures? Fear not, fellow Helldivers, for the path to power is paved with super credits. Earned through completing missions and planetary operations, Super Credits will unlock the doors to a world of possibilities. 
But mark your calendar, soldiers, for the Cutting Edge Warbond is set to deploy on the 14th of March, beckoning us to embark on a new adventure. And while the cost remains shrouded in mystery, one thing is certain. The value of these enhancements will be immeasurable in our fight against the encroaching darkness. So gather your squad, sharpen your blades, and prepare yourselves for the challenges that lie ahead. The future of Super Earth hangs in the balance, and it's up to us, the Helldivers, to tip the scales in our favor. And there you have it, Helldivers. Another electrifying transmission comes to a close. But fear not, for the fight never truly ends. Keep your eyes on the horizon, stay vigilant, and prepare for the challenges yet to come. Until next time, this is Weekly Helldivers Dispatch, signing off.